Okay. Some people may say, or may think, they are missing out if they live for Jesus Christ. As in, like, they are limited, like they aren't really, or they can't really enjoy life while they are living for Jesus Christ. As if living for Jesus Christ is grievous or something like that. Like, Living for Jesus Christ is to your advantage, or I mean, disadvantage. Okay. I think some people may believe living for Jesus Christ is boring and limited and like it is the worst thing ever. Some people may feel that way. I think some people feel that way because they don't really know what they are really talking about. You may say that you tried to live for Jesus Christ for a day, two days, six months, or whatever else. Try living for Jesus Christ for a month, two months, three months. I mean, one year, two years, three years plus. Like, actively try to learn more of him just going to church and hanging out with friends and going out to eat after church and then going back to your old ways no actively try to learn more about jesus christ because if you say that living for Jesus Christ is so limiting and boring and whatever else, I believe that shows me and probably some other people that you are probably doing something wrong. I don't know everything about Jesus Christ, but as I learn, Listen now. Oh, man. Listen now. Okay. You can e either do things the easier way or the more difficult way. I don't like trouble. <laughs> I don't like trouble. What? I don't like trouble. If someone told me, Kevin, <laughs> we can do this the easy way or the hard way, and if what that person is speaking of is not a sin, let me do it the easy way, right? Like, why would I be like, hey, Let's do it the hard way because I like trouble, I like problems, I like difficulty, you know, let me do it <laughs> the hard way. Come on now. And I am not going to say this in a religious way. I guess with some people, or you may have... You may have heard um, living for Jesus is good, sinning is bad. I am actually living, I believe I am living for Jesus Christ. So I am experiencing how it is like 
to live for Jesus Christ. Am I saying I am the best Christian in the whole wide world? No, but I am, I believe I am living for Jesus Christ. I may not be doing this and I may not be doing that, but I believe I am living for Jesus Christ. I believe I am actively trying to learn more about Jesus Christ. Okay. In my past, yes, I wanted to do what was wrong. And I experienced so much of that, so much. Now, if I were to compare the two, living by my rules, I guess I can say, or, and, should I say end, and living for Jesus Christ, Living for Jesus Christ is so much better than how it was for me when I was living in so much sin. I believe I can say I have so much more peace, joy, and whatever else. Listen now, uh, I think some people may believe they are missing out on something when they live for Jesus Christ. It's because I think some people have it in their mind for some reason that sinning is in advantage or what word can I use? Some people may believe like sinning is in their best interest, like as if they are gaining something. Oh man. There is a person I read the Bible with and Reading the Bible may seem very boring, but I think there is so much information in the Bible, so much. And if you read it, I guess often or as much as you think you can, I think you will find answers to why this happened in your life, that happened in your life, this happened in your life, this problem, that problem, so on and so on. If you read the Bible, I think it is going to clearly show you that it is not in your best interest to sin. Because if Jesus is against you, if you purposely want to live that lifestyle, like, do you want things the easy way or the more difficult way? Maybe I should say easier other than easy. Maybe easy as well. Do you want things the easier way or the more difficult way? I think if you want to live a bad lifestyle, in my opinion, you are choosing to live the more difficult way. I am not only living for God because I think, you know, God is amazing or whatever else, but I am living for God also because I receive less trouble. I receive less problems. Yes, I still get problems. I still get, I think, demonic attacks and stuff like that. But comparing my life, how it is now to how it was before, things are so much better. Yes, I could, you know, mess with that woman and mess with that woman over there and blah, 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 blah. But if 
sin will cause my life to worsen, I guess I can say, why do it? Yes, I know we are going to make mistakes, but what I am saying, why purposely choose that lifestyle? It is not helping. I used to do this. I used to do that. I used to do bad things, but the life I am living now doesn't even compare. Am I saying that right? The life I am living now is so much better than when I used to do bad things and thought I was gaining from it. I was not gaining. Yes, temporarily, I may have gained, but in the end, I think I paid more than what I, am I saying that right? I believe in the end, I paid more than what it was worth. Maybe I should say that. So, in my opinion, and from what I have learned, you are not missing out on nothing if you begin to live for Jesus Christ now. All that stuff you think, all that stuff that is wrong, that you believe is so exciting and great, I think that stuff is placing you under bondage and I believe it is costing you more than what it is worth. You are not missing out on nothing. Go to Jesus Christ now. Yes, I guess my life, you know, in a carnal way, you know, I don't go to clubs, I don't drink alcohol, I don't smoke weed and cigarettes and, you know, I don't do drugs and, you know, I don't be cuss, you know, I don't cuss folks out and stuff like that. So I guess that is boring to some people. Oh, boy. My life. <laughs> oh, my Lord. God, please forgive me. My life is so much more stable now. Yes, I am not rich, you know. I don't have a Mercedes Benz. I don't have a Rolls Royce or a Bugatti. <laughs> you know, I don't have like... 20 pairs of shoes? I don't think so. I don't have many suits and ties and all that stuff there. Like, you see how I dress, right? You know, <laughs> plain white tee. But my life is so much more enjoyable, so much more stable, so much more, I guess I can say, joyful than how it was before I am I believe I am living for Jesus Christ now so I am actually living it not saying to you I believe what some people do they tell people to live for Jesus Christ when they are lukewarm or when they are in sin which makes really no sense to me because how can you tell someone to live for Jesus Christ if you aren't or if you are lukewarm anyways let me stop here God bless you <laughs>